photo shows the, the Gardner house that was bought by my father in 1938. We moved down to the Gardner Ranch and worked uh, and built here and, and were ranchers in Douglas County from that time on till about the late 1950s. And we still owned the ranch, but it was rented and other people ran the ranch and done the farming through the 50s and 60s and 70s. I was raised right here on the ranch and uh, went to school at Franktown. I knew about Frank Gardner being county clerk because of the paperwork in his desk. And was There was a lot of county documents, old documents and things that, that uh, Mr. Gardner had done that were in that old desk yet when we got to place. And had never been bothered with the other three or four people that lived in the house. And I don't, that's hard to explain, but it, it just never had been bothered. <laughs> James Frank Gardner followed the Pikes Peak Gold Rush to Colorado in the spring of 1859. He and several associates prospected on Clear Creek through the summer, but by fall had decided to give up their search for gold. In November of 1859, Mr. Gardner found employment at a local sawmill in what is now Douglas County. By 1860, he had purchased his own mill and began hauling lumber and shingles to the growing town of Denver. At the same time, he took up a squatter's claim on Cherry Creek, calling it Frankstown. Problems with Indians in the area had reached a crisis in 1864, and Gardner closed his sawmill and became commander of local men who built a stockade at the California Ranch. Eventually, Frank Gardner worked to help settle the Indians on their reservations after being appointed an Indian agent by President Chester Arthur. Frank had been an Indian agent in Franktown for a lot of years, and, and when that agency burnt down, he built this house in 1869. It was really in pretty rough shape when we moved in, and we had a lot of repairs and things to do while we lived in it. In those days, no one had any money, so it took time to do those things. Government formed the rural electrical associations around the farm country. Ours was formed at Castle Rock, and we got electricity in Franktown 1941. And all we had then was lights. You didn't have enough power to run much of anything. But I guess they didn't have very many electrical appliances then anyway, so it didn't make that much difference. But uh, it was nice to get the lights and water inside and inside plumbing and a few things like that. The ceilings were 10 foot and we lowered them all to eight foot. What is still the master bedroom was Frank Gardner's office. Although Frank Gardner had been off of it for quite some time, many of his documents were still in the desk that was in there. They uncovered the floors in the dining room and living room, and they found that they were yellow pine, original floors in the house. There is bark on the edges, as some of them were, were cut with a local sawmill, probably where most of the lumber that the other buildings are built out of came from. The Colorado Territory was created in 1861 out of the western portion of the Kansas Territory. The first county seat was determined to be Frankstown, and early business was transacted at James Gardner's cabin, he being the first county clerk and recorder. By 1863, all county business was transferred to the California Ranch, which had become a transportation hub of the area, with a successful hotel, stage stop, and now the first county buildings including the courthouse. In 1953, we had a tornado, and it was a pretty bad one, and it tore a, a new shop building completely down and destroyed it. It took all of the tin off of that, and it went up and down the valley, and it wrapped all of the electric wires, telephone wires, and everything with tin, and it shut the power off in this whole side of the county. It picked the roof up on the house, and turned it just a little bit and set it back down and it was just sitting on the nail ends. It tore off the back porch and it tore the roof off of it. It never even broke a window in the house. It tore the doors off of the big barn. 
and they were laying out behind the house. They pulled all of the trees from the back of the house and left them in front of the house. And all the ones that had been out front were laying around behind the house. Just switched positions with them. And it done some amazing things in that uh, tornado. We always raised corn and alfalfa. We put up the hay ourselves. Times were not that good just coming out of the depression and people didn't have all the machinery that they needed on their farm like they do now. So we'd go up to one end of the valley and everybody would bring his best machinery. And we'd start up there and go right down through the valley. And we'd done everyone's corn until all the corn was put up. It was just a sense of community throughout the whole Douglas County. Just about anyone that uh, had a real problem or got sick or something could depend on the neighbors uh, taking the load until he could get back on his feet, you know. And uh, we kind of miss those things nowadays. In 1874, the Douglas County seat of government was voted to be moved to Castle Rock, where William Cantrill built a new courthouse, contrary to the belief that he moved the old one from California Ranch. James Frank Gardner continued to serve Colorado as a territorial legislator, as county treasurer, and as state senator. He not only gave his name to the town of Frankstown, but he became known as the father of Douglas County. The community always remembered Mr. Gardner. He's buried there in the Franktown Cemetery with his, his wife. We were taught about Frank Gardner in school, and everybody knew about him, and we were proud to have the Gardner Ranch. One of the gardeners come out and was kind of the mainstay in getting some historical markers built through the country. I was a Boy Scout at that time. We got to march the flag out and hold the flag while they dedicated the monument. And uh, that monument uh, tells about the California Ranch. Franktown, named for J. Frank Gardner, a pioneer who settled here in 1859. First known as California Ranch, it was a way station and stage line between Denver and Santa Fe. In a stockade built here, neighbors found refuge from Indians in 1864. Franktown became the first county seat of Douglas County in 1861. Franktown has always been pretty mindful of the past and the history of the area. 